कि इट इज सिट कंफर्टेबली सुखासना पद्मासना अर्ध पद्मासना विच एवर इज कंफर्टेबल फॉर यू roll your shoulders make your spine erect palms open to the ceiling eyes closed and take long deep breaths inhale deeply and exhale slowly inhale positive energy and exhale relax take one more long deep breath in and breathe out slowly and completely now let us chant om three times bring your fingers to chin mudra and breathe in for om om Oh Oh So rejoin your palms together. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunetu Sahaviryam Tejas Vinavadi Tamas Tumavit Vishavahai In 90, in 20, 
and then keep your palms on your thighs open and take long deep breaths. So this pranayama is also called as energizing pranayama and it is a fast pranayama. So it works on our sympathetic nervous system. Okay, but it is very, very good for our upper respiratory tract and it is a therapeutic pranayama for sinusitis. Okay, but whoever is having high BP should not do it for a long time. This, is, this will increase the pressure in our heart and hence it is not recommended for people who are having high BP. Okay, and of course we should not do it during our cycles. And pregnant women should not do this. These are the contraindications. We'll go for the second round. Loose fist in front of the shoulders. Take a deep breath in, out. In, two, in, three, in, four, in, five, in, six, in, seven, in, eight, in, nine, in, ten, in, eleven, in, twelve, in, thirteen, in, fourteen, in, fifteen, in, sixteen, in, seventeen, in, eighteen, in, nineteen, in, twenty. Relax and take long deep breaths. So what is the advantage of Vajrasana? Not Preeti. Only Preeti is answering. All others should answer. Keeps your back straight. Yes, it keeps our spine erect. Then, what happens when you are keeping your spine straight? Better posture. Better posture, yes. For respiration. It helps in better respira respiration also. Okay, you can take long deep breath. You cannot slouch and take... You cannot take long deep breath. You cannot make your breath better. Okay, it is also good for our respiratory activity, keeping our spine straight. That's why most of the pranayama, they ask you to sit straight and do it. Okay, and one more advantage of Vajrasana is... This is the only pranayama that can be done immediately after food. It works on our digestive system also. It helps to increase our metabolism or increase the, the all the circulatory energy is towards the stomach. This energy, the circulatory energy below our legs are stopped and hence we will be able to, it, it helps in aiding the digestion. So we'll go for the last round. We'll do it a little faster. Loose fist in front of the shoulders. And take a deep breath in, out. In, two, in, three, in, four, in, five, in, six, in, seven, in, eight, in, nine, in, ten, in, eleven, in, twelve, in, thirteen, in 14, in 15, in 16, in 17, in 18, in 19, in 20. And then slowly relax. You can release your Vajrasana posture also. And sit comfortably in Sukhasana or Siddhasana. Okay? So whenever you feel lethargic, you can, if you are able to do Basika pranayama for a count of 20 also, you will feel more energetic. So that is why this is called the energizing pranayama. Okay. So now let us start with our warm-up. Let us stretching, let our let us stretch our hands up, bend at the elbows, bend at the elbows. Okay. You're going to take it as much back as you can and then stretch it up. Go as much back as you can and stretch up. As much back as you can and then stretch up. Back and stretch up. Back and then stretch up. 
at the shoulder level, go back as much as you can and then stretch up. Back as much as you can and then stretch up and then release your hands. Now, bend your, bend your right hand, elbow bend and keep your palms exactly over the center. Okay? In between the shoulder blades. Okay? Place it and then try to keep pulling your elbow towards the left. Keep pulling your elbow with the support of the other hand. Keep pulling and then slowly release your hand. Do the same thing with the other hand. Left palm over the, in between the shoulder blades. Now, try to bring your elbows pointed up by keeping on pushing it. If you are able to do it, keep pushing it, pushing it, push it towards the right. Then slowly come back to the center. One more time. Right palm and then push, keep pulling your elbow towards the left. Then come back to the center. Left palm in the center. Then pull your elbow towards the right. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And then slowly come back to the center. Release your hands. Now, take your right hand behind, bend it, and pull your palm towards the left. Like this. Keep pulling your palms towards the left. Keep pulling. Keep pulling left and forward. And then come back. Now, right, pull. Pull it forward. Keep pulling your palm forward. Now left to right, keep pulling. Pull, keep pulling. And then towards the right, pull. Left, pull. Right, pull. Then come back to the center. Then come back to the center. Now, stretching your hands by the side, bring your palm, bring your fingers on the shoulder. Bring your elbows together. Breathe in, open your chest and breathe out, elbows together. Breathe in, open your chest and breathe out, elbows together. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Reverse, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And breathe out, relax. Now let us do for our legs. Stretch your legs forward. Bend your legs. And just keep your hands by the side and do side to side movement. Just do side to side movement. Mobilize your hip. Mobilize your knees. Side to side movement. Now bend and bring your soles together. Bring your soles together and interlace your fingers over the toes and do the titili asana, butterfly pose. Do the butterfly pose. Spine straight. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now release your hands, let your uh, legs remain the same. Keep walking your hands forward, keep walking your hands forward. Stretch your spine, keep walking and then slowly raise up, stretch your hands. Again, go forward. This time keep walking your hands towards the right. Keep walking your hands towards the right. Stretch, then go towards the left. Keep stretching, little more, little more. Stretch, walk your hands towards the right. Stretch, walk your hands towards the left. Stretch, walk your hands towards the right. And stretch, walk your hands towards the left. And then slowly come back to the center. Now from here, let us go to table. Let us go to table. And tucking your toes, go to Adomukha, downward dog. And take gap between the legs, gap between the hands. 
Now take your right hand to the left big toe, tap it, then come back. Left hand to the right big toe, tap and come back. Right to left, come back to the center. Left to right, come back to the center. Right to left, come back. Left to right, come back. Right to left, come back. Left to right, come back. Now bring your legs a little closer. Now bring your right knee to the right elbow, come back. Left knee to the left elbow, come back. Right to right, come back. Left to left, come back. Now cross it. Right knee to the left elbow, come back. Left knee to the right elbow, come back. Right to left, come back. Left to right, come back. Right to left, come back. Left to right, come back. Now stay in Adho Mukha. Stay in Adho Mukha. Drop your elbows to the ground and fold head also to the ground. Elbow to the ground and head towards the ground. Yes. Now drop your knees. Drop your knees. And from here come to Malasana. From here come to Malasana. Now bring your fingers below your bring your fingers below your toes. Okay? Take gap between the legs. Take gap between the legs. Okay? Now raise up. Bring your chest towards the thigh. Vayu Nikshasana and come down. Come down again. Go to Vayu Nikshasana and then come down. Go to Vayu Nikshasana and then come down. Vayu Nikshasana and come down. Now stretch your hands forward and then slowly raise up. Slowly raise up. Interlacing your fingers. Stretch up. Stretch your hands up. Spine straight. Now alternate. Alternate heel up. Stand in the same position. Just bring your alternate heel up. Okay? On your toe alternately. Without lifting the leg off the ground. Just lift your Heel alternately, do it faster, do it faster without lifting the legs off the mat. Toes will be always touching the mat. Alternately, then come back to the center. Now, we will do wave movements. You are going to do clockwise, anti-clockwise, okay? You are going, when you are going to clockwise, Take your right hand, right leg behind. Come back to the center. Yes, when you are bringing your right to left, left to right. Okay? Right, then come back, then come back to the center, other leg. Wave your hands at the same time. Take your leg back. Wave your hands and take your legs also back. Wave in clockwise. Anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise, clockwise, anti-clockwise. Anti then come back to the center. Now bend your knees, hold. Okay, hold it with one hand and stretch your other hand. Do a twist. Balance plus twist. Then come back. Hold it with the left hand. Twist to the other side. Then come back. Right twist. Then come back. Left twist. And then come back. Do the same thing with the other leg. Bend your right leg. Hold. Twist. Come back. Twist to the other side. Come back. Twist to the left. Come back. Twist to the right. Come back. Twist to the left. Come back, twist to the right, come back. Now bend your leg, bend back and hold it, hold it. Try to keep pulling it, pull it, pull it. Just keep pulling it, hold and pull. Then come back to the center, the other leg. Hold and pull it. Pull it, keep pulling it. Pulling it up and then come back to the center and relax. 
So we are warmed up enough. We'll do Surya Namaskar. Ready? Six sets. Okay. Come to the front end of the mat. Bringing your palms together. Om Surya Yanamaha. Breathe in. Raise your hands up. Arch your back. Breathe out. Bend from your lower back to Padahastasana. Breathe in. Right leg back. Toes stretched. Breathe out. Hadukha. Downward dog. Breathe in to plant. Breathe out, drop your knees, chest in on the floor. Breathe in, scoop up to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adhukha, downward dog. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out, bend from your lower back. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha, downward dog. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Second round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Third round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plant. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to Plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Next round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to Plank. Breathe out to Ashtang. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Next round. 
Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out the father, Hrishtasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adhukha. Breathe in to plant. Breathe out to a town. Breathe in to Bhutangasana. Breathe out to Adhukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out the Padre Hastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to a song. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. Next round. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, right leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Vaishtam. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, right leg forward. Breathe out, left leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti, left leg. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Breathe out to Padahastasana. Breathe in, left leg back. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in to plank. Breathe out to Ashtam. Breathe in to Bhujangasana. Breathe out to Adho Mukha. Breathe in, left leg forward. Breathe out, right leg forward. Breathe in, raise up, arch your back. Come back to Samasthiti. And relax. Relax and normalize your breath. Take a sip of water if you want. So today we will do a sequence, okay? And we will be keeping on doing long, deep ujjayi breaths, okay? Static asanas. So what are the advantages of static asanas? Dynamic asanas are helpful for giving the mobility of the joints, all the mobility of the joints. That's why Suri Namaskar is mainly for lubricating or uh, activating all our musculo musculoskeletal joints or the musculoskeletal or system itself, okay? Whereas muscles, the muscles has to stretch. The muscles has to stretch a little more. So we do static asana so that the muscles will stretch a little more and it will become flexible. It, it will not only become flexible, it will also gain its strength. Okay, so that is the advantage of static poses. When we stay there, we are staying only for a count of 10. We should be able to stay for a minute also in each pose. Okay, so we'll try. And when you are staying in a static pose, it is better or good for you to take long, deep ujjayi breaths, okay? I'll tell one or two long, deep ujjayi breaths. You just take long, deep ujjayi breaths, okay? Yeah? Shall we start? Okay. Now, we are going to sit in Vajrasana and bring your hands together, palms together, okay? And come, this is called as Prana Mudra or this is also called as Anjali Mudra. Okay? Okay? And take one long Ujjayi breath. Try to bring your elbows like this, straight, and palms are pressing each other. Not like this. Try to bring it like this. 
Yes, elbows will be straight and you are pressing your palms. Okay. Now, in from this pose, twist towards the left. Twist towards the left and take one long ujjayi breath. Then come back to the center and twist towards the right and take one long ujjayi breath. Then slowly come back to the center. Okay. Now from here, let us go to table. Let us go to table and spread your fingers wide. Spread your fingers wide. Spread your fingers wide. Okay. And take a gap, little gap between the hands also. Spread your fingers wide and widen your gap between the hands also. Okay. Widen your gap between the hands also. Okay. Now, lift your knees off the mat. Lift your knees off the mat and stay here. Knees off the mat, on your toes. You are on your toes and stay here. Stay here and take long deep ujjayi breath. Then drop your knee to the ground. Okay? One more time, let us do. Lift your Lift your knees off the mat and take one long ujjayi breath. It should be close to the close to the ground, but you are not touching the ground. Knees off the mat. Then slowly drop your knees to the ground. Okay. Now from here, take your hands little more sideways, little more sideways. And come to Adho Mukha Downward Dog. Come to Adho Mukha Downward Dog. And you're going to bring your, if from Adho Mukha Downward Dog, you're going to lift your right leg and bring it towards the left, like this. Yes. And stay here. One long ujjayi breath. Then come back to the center. Now take your left leg towards the right, cross inward. Inside, inside, under your legs, you're crossing. And stay here. Take one long jabra. Then come back to the center. This time, take your right leg, cross it. At the same time, bring your hip to the floor and raise your left hand up. And then come back to the center. Take your right leg back to Adonka. Now take your left leg, cross it inside and try to bring your hip towards the ground and raise your right hand up. And stay one long ujjayi breath. Bring your hip towards the ground. Yeah, super, super, super. Stay here, one long ujjayi breath. Then again, go to Adho Mukha Downward Dog. Go to Adho Mukha Downward Dog. Now from here, take your right leg, right leg towards the right hand, outside the hand. Take your right hand outside the hand. Yes, outside the hand. Leg outside. Yes. Lizard pose. Lizard pose. Yes. Now try to stay here. This is the easiest variation. Knees are off the mat. Knees are off the mat and stay here. One long ujjayi breath. Shall we do something challenging? Yeah, can we drop our elbows to the ground in this pose? Elbows to the floor, knees are off the mat. Little bit challenging. Lizard pose. One long ujjayi breath. Then raise up, come on your palms and take your right leg back and go to Adho Mukha. 
and take one long ujjayi breath. Now we'll do the same thing on the left. Left leg outside the left hand. Left leg outside the left hand, bring it forward and back leg knees or off the mat. Lizard pose. Yes. Now try to drop your elbows to the floor. Super. Super little thumbs down. Try if you're not able to, you can stay. Super. Lizard pose. If you are not able to, you can drop your knees to the floor also. No issues. One, take one long ujjayi breath. Then slowly come back to Adho Mukha. Come back to Adho Mukha and stay there. One long ujjayi breath. Now from Adho Mukha, you're going to bring your right leg forward and come to Warrior One. Yes, come to Warrior One. And take your one long ujjayi breath. Now stretching your hands by the sides, come to Warrior Two. Look towards your right hand. Come to warrior two. You are doing reverse. Uh, same hand, same side, uh, Ramya. Right hand should be forward. Yes, right hand should be forward. Yes, warrior, warrior two. This is called as warrior two. Then straighten up your knees. Straighten up your knees and come to star position. And slide your body towards the right and come to triangle pose. Triangle. Triangle pose. Yes, super. Triangle pose. Take one long ujjayi breath. Now bend your knees. Bend your knees and go to Parshvakonasana. Super. From triangle, you are bending your knees and going to Parshvakonasana. And stay here, one long ujjayi breath. Then slowly slide up and come to star. Come to star. Yes. Now you bend again and go to reverse warrior. Bend your front knee and go to reverse warrior. Then slowly come back to the center. Turn your legs. Turn your legs forward. Turn your legs to point forward. Okay. Now, bend from your lower back. Bend from your lower back without curving your spine. Bend from your lower back. Stretching your hand forward. Pushing, stretching your hand forward. Pushing your hip back. Your spine should be straight. And then you bring your hands down. Bring your hands down. Okay? Once your hands are in the floor, you walk your hands a little more. Walk your hands towards the leg. And try to bend a little more. But your spine should be straight. Yes, super. Your spine should be straight. Walk your hands a little more. Your spine should be straight. Super. Stay here. One long ujjayi breath. One long ujjayi breath. Then slowly come up, raise up. Come up, raise up. And then bring your legs together. Raise your hands up and bring your legs together. Okay? Now, again, push your hip back and straighten up your hands forward and keep, keep pushing your hip back and come to, come to L position and then slowly bring your hands down. Your spine should be straight. 
okay initially your hand will be in the knee okay and with the spine straight keep sliding your hands down with your spine straight keep sliding your hand a little more down uttanasana keep looking forward so that your spine remains straight and take one long ujjayi breath keep sliding your hand little more down 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 and then slowly straighten up your hands come back to the center and turn your legs to the other side we'll do the same things on the other side left leg pointed towards the left right leg 45 degrees turn your torso towards the left okay widen your gap widen the gap between the legs and bend your left knee raise your hands up and come to warrior 1 come to warrior 1 arch a little as much as you can warrior 1 uma warrior 1 yes super then from here go to warrior 2 yes go to warrior 2 keep looking at your left hand super take one long ujjayi breath now slowly straighten up your knee straighten up your knee and slide and come to triangle slide sideways no forward bend sideways you are going and stretch your hands up yes yeah, super triangle pose super super now bend your knees and go to parshvakonasana bend your knees and go to parshvakonasana yes go to parshvakonasana yes super 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 then slowly straighten up to start come to star position and then bend your knee again and go to reverse warrior go to reverse warrior super super do it as much as you can then slowly straighten up your knee come back to the center come back to the center okay now from here coming to coming back to this leg straight you can take little gap between the legs you can take little gap between the legs and bringing your hands palms together again come to anjali mudra and slowly come down to malasana position but with a small difference with a small difference you are going to stay on your toes and bring your hands above palms pressing each other balance you balance yourself come on your toes malasana position but on your toes and palms are pressing each other elbows are straight horizontal yes your spine should be straight so by balancing pose stay here one long ujjayi breath so by one long ujjayi breath then slowly bring your palms to the ground and come to vajrasana come to vajrasana and go to child pose stretching your hands forward go to child pose rest in child pose rest in child pose stretching your hands forward forehead towards the mat take long deep ujjayi breath rest in child pose
then slowly come up and now you can lie down on your back in Thadagasana. Lie down in Thadagasana. We will do core asanas. Lie down in Thadagasana and let us practice let us practice the Pilates breathing. Pulling your tummy muscle in. Bring your spine towards the ground. Bring your spine towards the ground. You should not be able to even put a finger in, in, in between. Okay? Pull your tummy muscle in. At the same time, don't hold the breath. Instead of that, do the Pilates breathing. Breathe in through the nostril and breathe out slightly opening your mouth. Keep concentrating on your abdomen. You have pulled your abdomen in. Breathe in and breathe out through the mouth. Now let us do, let us do leg raises, let us do leg raises. Yesterday we, we did it easier, today we will do it with leg stretch. So initially we will start with easy variation. So let the left leg, let the leg be bent, you raise your one leg up, okay? So breathe in, raise up and breathe out, slowly bring your right leg down. So breathe in, raise your leg up and breathe out, slowly bring your leg down. Breathe in, raise your right leg up and breathe out, slowly bring your right leg down. Let us do it with a challenge now. Stretch your left leg down. Stretch your left leg down. Now raise up. Now raise your leg up. Breathe in and breathe out. Slowly bring your right leg down. If it is uncomfortable, you can keep the other leg bent. Otherwise, keep your left leg stretched. If you want more challenge, lift your left leg to 10 degrees. Now raise your right leg up. Breathe in. And slowly bring your right leg down. Breathe in up. And breathe out. Slowly bring your right leg down. One more time. Raise your right leg up. And then slowly bring your right leg down. We'll do the same thing with the other leg. Bend your right leg and lift your left leg up. Bend your right leg, lift your leg, left leg up. Breathe in, breathe out, slowly bring it down. Keep engaging your core. Raise your left leg up, breathe in and breathe out, slowly bring your leg down. Now let us do it with a challenge, stretching your legs down. Now raise your left leg up and down. Super pretty, you are doing with the challenge. Lifting right leg is 10 degrees, left leg up and down. Lift your right leg up to 10 degrees. Super, 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 super. Everyone are taking it as a challenge. Nice. Super. But do it little bit slowly. Try to do it slowly. Yes, super. Right leg is at 10 degree. Your core will be totally engaged in this process. Left leg up and down. Now slowly relax. Now we'll do the cycling. 
we'll do the cycling bending your legs come to table top position table top position is your lower leg is parallel to the mat okay now stretch your right leg and then come back to the center stretch your left leg go up to 30 or 10 and then slowly come back to the center keep doing it alternately keep doing it alternately keep doing it alternately cycling but do it very slowly keep engaging your core go down as much as you can and then come back to the center now do the reverse cycling go from down to up do the reverse cycling do the reverse cycling super do the reverse cycling but do it little slowly do it little slowly Do it little slowly. Then come back to the center. Now keeping your hands by the side of the body, let us do the bridge four. Bringing your legs little closer to your buttocks. Keeping your palms by the side. Lift your hip off the mat. Now let us add little challenge to this. Raise your right hand up. Go to the floor. Then come back to the center. Left hand up to the floor and then come back to the center. In bridge, you are raising your hands up alternately. Right hand up, come back. Left hand up, come back. Alternately keep raising. Right hand up to the floor. Left hand up to the floor. Right hand up to the floor. Left hand up to the floor. Right hand up to the floor. Left hand up to the floor. And then come back to the center and relax. Now bend your both the legs. Bring it close to your chest and stay in Pavana Muktasana. Stay in Pavana Muktasana. Take long deep ujjayi breath. Now curve your shoulders off the mat and bring your forehead in between the knees. And start doing the rocking up and down. Rock up and down. Rock up. Roll like a ball. Roll like a ball. Your chin is towards the chest. Your head is towards the knee. Yes, maintain the gap. Maintain this like a ball. And just keep rolling up and down. Maintain your body like a ball and roll up and down. Relaxes our back. Super. Roll up and down. Keep rolling up and down. Try to come up without touching the leg to the floor. Try to come up with your core support and go down. Without touching your toes to the ground, come up and go. Then roll towards the left, center. Roll towards the right, center. Roll towards the left, center. Roll towards the right, center. Now slowly come back to the center and stretch your both the legs down. And stretch your hands by the side of the body, palms facing upwards. Now bend your right leg, keep it over your left thigh and push your right knee towards the left and look towards your right palm. Stay here. Udra Karshasana, universal spinal twist pose. Take one long jab breath. Then slowly bring your legs back and stretch your right leg down. Now bend your left leg, place it over the right thigh and push your left knee towards the right and look towards your left palm. Stay there and take long deep ujjayi breath.
Then slowly come back to the center and stretch your left leg down and lie down in Shavasana. Follow the seven rules of Shavasana. Legs are slightly apart. Toes are falling outwards. Hands are slightly away from the body. Palms are facing upwards. Nose are pointed towards the ceiling. Eyes are closed. And your complete weight of the body is on the floor. Take a deep breath in and breathe out slowly. Take one more deep breath in and breathe out slowly. Now bring about a feeling of inner relaxation in the whole body. Concentrate on the body and become aware of the importance of complete stillness. Develop your awareness of the body from the top of the head to the tip of the toes and mentally relax them with the mantra O. O. Continue the stillness and complete awareness of the whole body. Relax your body from the top of the head to the tip of the toes. Oh. Become aware of the fact that you are practicing yoga nidra. Say mentally to yourself, I am aware, I am practicing yoga nidra. At this moment, make a resolve. A resolve is a short positive statement. A wish. The resolve you make during yoga nidra is bound to come true in your life. Take a resolve and repeat it three times mentally. Now we begin to rotate our consciousness by taking a trip through the different body parts. Become aware of your right foot, right ankle, right shin, right knee, right hip, entire right leg, navel center, left foot, left ankle, left shin, left knee, left hip, entire left leg. Take your attention back to the navel center, abdomen center, heart center, throat center. Attention on the right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist, Right palm, entire right hand. Go to the left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, left palm, entire left hand. Back to throat center, chin, lips, nose, Right cheek, left cheek, right ear, 
left ear, right eye, left eye, right eye bro, left eye bro, eye bro center, forehead, top of the head. Relax your complete body. Your body is lying on the floor. See your body lying perfectly still on the floor. Visualize this image in your mind and become aware of your breath. Feel the flow of your breath in and out of your lungs. Your navel is raising and falling slightly with each and every breath. Now let us come to visualization. A number of things will be named and you try to visualize them to the best of your ability. A burning candle. An endless desert with sand dunes. Egyptian pyramid, torrential rainfall, snow-capped mountain, temple at sunrise, Birds flying across the sunset. Red clouds drifting across the sky. A cross above a church. Stars at night. Full moon. Smiling Buddha. Waves on a deserted beach. Watch the restless sea. Feel the gentle breeze from the sea. Now it is time to recall the resolve you made at the beginning of the practice and repeat it three times mentally. Now relax all your efforts, become aware of your natural breath. Your body is totally relaxed. Mind has also become calm and pleasant. Stay there for a few more seconds in silence. Now slowly becoming aware of your surroundings, start making movements, start wiggling your toes, wiggle your fingers, bring your legs together, toes down, bring your hands above your head, stretch your hands, stretch your spine and then slowly roll over to your right side. And whenever you're feeling comfortable with the support of the left hand, slowly sit up. Slowly sit up with your eyes closed. In this calm state of mind, let us pray and bless this whole world, bringing your palms together. Oh. 
सर्वे सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु स्लोली रप्य पम्स जनरेट हीट Have them on your eyes and face. Feel the warmth. Feel the energy. Now slowly looking through the gaps of the fingers. Open your eyes with a beautiful smile. What was it? Relaxed? <laughs>